What is up guys? John Anthony from MasculineDevelopment.com and today I'm going to share with you a mindset shift that I've used to overcome many fears in my life and believe me there were many. I'm not going to make you wait for it like some marketer who has this catchy clickbait thumbnail and then says I'm going to give it to you and I make you wait two hours and then I sell you some course. I'm going to give it to you right now, okay? And it's really simple, deceptively simple. All you do is you accept that fear is normal, you feel the fear of whatever you're afraid of, and you just do it anyways. Okay, so let me explain. Uh, the biggest thing that fucks people up is they're afraid of something, right? They're afraid of heights, they're afraid of public speaking, they're afraid of uh, you know, getting up on stage, they have stage fright, they're afraid of you know, starting a business, talking to a girl, whatever it is, they're afraid of it, and they think that just because they're feeling that fear, that somehow means that they're inadequate and they shouldn't do it. But the truth is that everyone feels fear and it's normal, right? And once you realize that, you realize, oh shit, well, if these rock stars that are playing to crowds of 100,000 people are still afraid when they go up there, at least for the first you know few years or something, maybe they get over it eventually. But if everyone feels that fear, but they just do it anyways, then there's nothing wrong with me and I can just do it too, right? So let me tell you a story. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, who's widely regarded as, you know, I think the, the king of, uh, there's a certain genre for the, the king of stadium rock or something like that, right? He's up there with, you know, Queen uh, in terms of his ability to just get a whole stadium, right? With the music that he plays uh, and to wrap them around his finger, right? And so in an interview, he actually said, uh, you know, I never get nervous. No, they asked him, you know, don't you ever get nervous playing to these crowds of, a hundred thousand people, you know, half, half a fucking billion people or whatever. And I said, no, I never get nervous. Right. And then later on, he actually threw up before he went uh, to perform. And the interviewer asked him, well, why, why did you throw up? You, you said you don't get nervous. And he, he said, well, I always do that, but I, I don't think of it as being nervous. That's just normal. Right. And that's the key. It's fucking normal. Don't put a label on it. Don't say, oh, I'm afraid of, I have this fear, right? There's this big label that we tend to put on things that we're afraid of, which is fear. And putting that mental label on it stops you from being able to actually do what you want to do. Okay, another example. Uh, so I dropped out of college, right? And I started my own business. And a lot of people don't have the balls to do that. You know, a lot of people, they want these safe, stable career that isn't a 10 out of 10 that doesn't make them happy, but it also doesn't, you know, uh, make them feel fear, right? And so when I did that, um, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Like I, I literally, I, I didn't start a business before. I had no idea how to start a business, but you know, I was in college. I started it. I just slowly started, you know, doing things, learning about making money online, etc. And eventually I realized that I can make it work. I can make some money from this. I can make a living and I dropped out, right? And again, it's because I understood that it's normal to feel fear, right? When you, when you see a pretty girl and you're afraid of talking to her, it's normal to feel that, you know, fear in your body. It's normal to feel that, you know, that tightness in your chest, that, uh, you know, that pit in your stomach, whatever it is, it's normal, right? But the thing that separates the people that are the high achievers from the guys that are mediocre is that they both feel fear, but the people that are the higher achievers, they just do it anyway. Right. And this is a deceptively simple mindset shift. But once you realize that, once you realize that people that are successful get afraid all the fucking time, but they just do it, you realize that you can do it too because you're both human. You know, there's something uh, called icon consciousness. And this is the idea that, you know, the people that we see a lot in the media, the celebrities, whatever, if we don't actually meet them in person, we tend to form this idea in our head that they're just this like abstract figure who doesn't feel fear. And, and of course we don't consciously think this, but on an unconscious level we do, right? And so when you actually meet these people in person, it's kind of a trip because you realize that they fuck things up too. You know, they don't get enough sleep, right? Sometimes they, they screw things up. They're not, you know, gods. They're just humans who just try really hard. And it's the processes. It's that process of trying hard of, you know, developing discipline. It's all the little habits and processes that these people do that makes them successful. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm, I I felt fear before recording this video 
right? I, I always get a little bit of anxiety before I record a YouTube video, but I just do it anyway. I know that I need to do it, so I don't put a label on it. I don't, I don't, you know, work myself up with mental masturbation. Oh, I'm afraid. How can I stop the fear? How can I do this? How can I do that, right? You can't stop fear by outthinking it. You overcome the fear by taking action, right? Um, I got this tattoo on my arm right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. And uh, it says, follow your fear, right? Right there. It says, follow your fear. And I got this tattoo because I think that fear is a signpost. And there's very many signposts in life uh, that you know, you'll know you get from, from different places. And uh, what they tell you is that this is a certain area that you need to explore because there's something there that you aren't aware of that's holding you back, whatever it is, right? So um, Joseph Campbell, whose book I actually have back there on my shelf, uh, he said, the treasure you seek lies in the cave you fear to enter, right? So if, you, if your treasure is making a million dollars a year, ask yourself, what are you afraid of, right? For some people, they're afraid of putting themselves out there, right? With, with you know, me blogging and making videos, having these opinions, sometimes I get hate, right? I was afraid of that at first, but I just did it anyways. I was afraid of getting, you know, hate mail and shit like that. Some guy was an asshole to me on Twitter. Uh, he has more followers than I do. And he was an asshole on Twitter to me, right? Um, you know, that shit happens. It happens all the time, right? And I'm still afraid of it. But over time, when you overcome fear, what you realize is it's a normal emotion. One. Two, you realize that you can overcome it. And three, you develop confidence and you start to feel less fear because when you overcome it enough, you just, you get used to it right? It's not even fear. So they've done studies and what they found is that the response of having fear and the response of having excitement are actually the exact same chemical responses in your body and in your brain. The only thing that makes you think it's fear versus excitement is your mindset, right? So really think about that for a second, guys. Right now, I can have the exact same chemicals in my body as you are, right? And you can say you're afraid, but I say I'm excited, right? And it's the simple mindset shift right there that actually makes you feel that way. So in other words, fear is an illusion. It's just a series of thoughts and constructs that you built up over time and put into a certain uh, label that you've put on your, your feeling, your body, your sensation, whatever it is, right? The pit in your stomach, the tightness in your chest, the tensing up of your neck, right? Fear it's real, okay? It's real in many ways because you feel it and it's there, but it's also an illusion. And yes, illusions can seem very real. It's an illusion because ultimately it's a construct. It's a thought construct, right? The feeling is real. The feeling of the pit in your stomach, that's real. But fear, it's just a construct. It's a label, right? So realize that once you understand that fear is normal and that everyone feels it, but the only thing that separates the high achievers from the noobs, the plebs that don't get anything done is that the high achievers, they feel it anyways, but they just take action, okay? So, you know, really ask yourself, what are you afraid of? What is it you're afraid of? And realize that that fear is normal, you know? Um, when I first uh, started my business, I was terrified, um, you know, because I didn't know if I would be able to, to get a job again, uh, which I probably won't, you know, because of my fucking employer, uh, you know, Google's John Anthony, and then he sees me on Twitter, like fucking, you know, calling some girl a slut or something or fucking tweeting some dumb shit about politics. He's going to, I'm not going to hire this guy, right? He's not going to hire me, right? Um, so I was afraid of that, but I did it anyways. Um, for the longest time, I was afraid of starting a YouTube channel, right? Uh, you know, because I didn't want to put my face and my personality and every, everything out there. I was afraid I would get hate, but you know, I did it anyways, right? Um, for the longest time, I was afraid of, you know, approaching girls, but I started doing it anyways. I was afraid of opening myself up, of trusting people, of uh, taking risks, but I started doing it anyways. And so I want to end with a model that I really like. Um, so if you think of your area, the areas of your life, there's four areas of your life. There's health, wealth, love, and happiness, right? That's a, a term that Ty Lopez uses. He probably took it from some book that he read because of the knowledge. Um, so you want to think of your life as a circle, right? You have this circle and there's four areas in the circle health right your physical health wealth the amount of money that you have uh love which is your relationships with women your you know game your dating life and your uh, male friendships and then happiness which is your fulfillment your spiritual 
uh, mission, your purpose, this sense of, you know, peace that you're, you're doing something meaningful here, right? And so when you're born, you start off with a small circle, right? The circle is very small. And as you grow older, and you develop in these areas of your life, you develop more, you know, uh, health, you get bigger and stronger and, and healthier, and your immune system gets stronger, you get more money, you get better skills that you can leverage to get money, etc. The circle expands, right? So you start getting better in these areas. But over time, what happens, and this is really key to understand, is that certain quadrants of the circle don't grow as fast as others, right? So maybe, you know, your circle is lopsided because the wealth aspect of your life is exceptional. You're wealthy, you're making a lot of money, uh, you know, you're making, you know, half a million dollars a year, two million dollars a year, whatever, but the health aspect isn't as uh, developed right, as the wealth aspect, you know? And look at your life in that, in that uh, using that model, and ask yourself which area of your life isn't as developed as the others. And I guarantee you that is a sign that there's something you're afraid of, right? There's something you're afraid of, even if you don't know it, in that area, right? And what you'll realize, again, this is why I say follow your fear. It's because once you recognize that fear and you follow it, you feel it, you realize it's normal and you go through and you take that action, What's going to happen is that area of your life, right? If again, using that circle model, it's going to fucking explode because you just passed through a barrier that was holding you back. And then what happens is because that area of your life gets better, the other areas of your life get better, right? So maybe again, you know, a lot of guys on this channel are younger. You're, uh, you know, I get a lot of questions about, uh, you know, dating, how to, how to date better women that you really like and, and that are pretty, et cetera, et cetera, that you click with, how to have a good dating life. Maybe you're, uh, you know, really healthy, right? You're, you know, jacked or you're, you're really strong and you feel good and vibrant, but you, you know, don't have your dating life in order. The relationships or the, the uh, love aspect of the circle. What's going to happen is once you get that in order, you're going to date a lot more girls, fuck a lot more girls. That's going to be incredible for your testosterone levels, for your stress levels. They're going to go way down. You're going to feel good all the time. That's going to make your health even better. You're going to get more testosterone from fucking all those girls or from having one girl that supports you. Your testosterone is going to raise your cortisol. The stress hormone is going to go down. That's going to make it easier to improve the health aspect of your life, right? So you get in this upward spiral. I made a video about this. One of the first videos I made on this channel, I'll put a, a link to it up here somewhere. And the idea is that once you start to get a little bit of success, it's easier to get success in every other area right? You know, maybe you're lagging behind in money because you're afraid of starting a business or, you know, you don't know where to start. You're afraid of failure, whatever it is. You know, you start getting more money, then you can have more money to do fun activities with friends. You can take your family on cool vacations, you know, and that improves your happiness because you feel like you're helping your community. It improves your health because you can afford better supplements. You can afford better food. You can, you know, hire a fucking chef for, for all that I know, right? So when you look at your life and that circle uh, model, right? With the four quadrants, health, wealth, love, and happiness. And you ask yourself, which one am I lacking in? Find the fear in that specific quadrant, follow it, break through it, and the other areas of your life will 10x in their potential. So hope this helps. I know that this mindset shift has helped me a lot. If you guys like my products, you can check everything out in the links down below. And with that in mind, guys, I will see you next time.